welcome back to the channel and today i am looking at your best builds where i've asked members of my discord link down below to submit links to their best scrap mechanic creations i've gone through dozens and dozens of links and chosen ones that stood out the most to me and we're gonna look at them in this video starting with this one right here which is the spin launch version one by the best maidens now i made a video a while back inspired by the spin launch uh invention and i guess this was inspired by my video which was inspired by the real thing so we have an inspiration chain going on i wonder who's who's gonna build something inspired by this creation which was inspired by my creation which was inspired by the real creation so if you're not familiar with spin launch the idea is you spin something and then you launch it so there are a couple buttons here uh, i don't know which one i'm supposed to press first flip green switch to start spinning after it is up to speed flip red switch wait for the machine to launch the small explosive all right well of course i gotta put something down here to uh to make sure that it actually well do i want do i want to go for distance or do i want to hit something you know let's hit something oh maybe it'll go so fast it'll phase through matter anyway who knows green oh boy oh that that is concerning oh interesting so this sensor i'm assuming yeah you can see that sensor flashes every so often there it goes. And I assume that is gonna release the explosive, which happens to get released out of here perfectly. There goes the red button. And three, two, one, spin launch. Hey, it actually worked. Wow, look how much faster it goes without the explosive on there. All right, that was a really successful spin launch, actually. Good job on the timing there. Okay, up next, we have Martian Technologies HQ by Luke. So this, I believe, was actually built for my uh, Mars colony world uh, back a while ago, but it was just too big and complex for me to actually include in the world, so I never ended up uh, actually spawning it in and looking at it because I was afraid to break the world. And as you can see, it is extremely laggy, so I think my suspicions, my hunch was correct. That world was getting very laggy by itself. Oh no, I gotta, I gotta weld this thing down. Hold on, give me a minute. There we go. All right, we are welded in, and it is so... Oh, no, it's it's not lagging anymore. All right, we got full frames back. All right, doors open, and look at the interior design of this place. So we got a fancy weapon on the wall. Got a nice table here to sit at for some meetings. Oh, actually, this looks like uh, more like an area to socialize than have meetings. We got a bar area here. Ooh, oh, we got a fancy sliding door in here. What is this room? This looks like a garage? Oh, we got a garage the area to park the vehicles comes with its own fuel and everything. Oh, that lagged out the game a little bit. Wait, we ha it looks like we have fuel and then this looks okay. Never mind. I thought this was like an electric charger, but the oil can on there kind of makes me think maybe it's not electricity based. What else we got? I love these this like just design going all the way around with these lines, these red lines going around. All right, fancy hologram table. Look at the hologram. That's pretty cool. Isn't there a second floor to this? Is it? What is this? Is this the server room? Server room with some storage. All right, and it looks like this is the elevator. Wait, are there three floors? So, first floor, second floor. There are three floors. Oh, well, the other one's probably the roof. All right, well, what do we got? All right, cruise quarters. Yeah, that's right. It's supposed to be cruise quarters. Ooh, these are fancy. Look at these fancy cruise quarters. By fancy, I mean like completely bare bones aesthetic, which just kind of, for some reason, has the futuristic vibe to it when there's literally nothing but the bare essentials to save the most cost and weight when it comes to space travel. Ooh, this has to be the uh, captain's quarters for sure. Oh yeah, look at those lights. He's got a slightly bigger bed and um, a little, little kitchenette. Restroom, did I miss the, oh, here's the restroom. This looks like it's gonna be an elevator too. Got a uh, sink and toilet. Is there a shower? This looks like it's gonna be a shower, but I don't think that opens. Where do the crew shower? Is there a shower anywhere? How do we clean ourselves? Ah! Wait. Did that just... What? It actually fills up? Oh, I think I broke it. I've never seen that before. The sink actually fills up with water. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's glass blocks, but, you know, it's supposed to be water, technically. We got a microwave. Has sound effects and everything. We even got kitchen utensils, silverware, coffee machine. This is so fancy. There's so many details. All right, this is probably where the meetings happen. Uh, what is this? Oh, that is apparently the jukebox. All right, and then we go up to the third floor. Oh, there is actually a third floor. I thought it was just gonna be the roof. What? What? Oh, this is cool. There's a catwalk and everything. Another nice little table here, fancy table. We got our space suits we can put on to go out in the Mars atmosphere. What is this? Ah! <laughs> I've been decontaminated. Ooh, fancy satellites. All right, 
And we've got our Martian helipad. Probably a VTOL pad if it's we're for on Mars. All right, uh, we do appear to be missing showers though, or a bathtub. Did I miss the shower or did you forget to put a shower in here? How do we wash ourselves on Mars? All right, well, no showers for these guys. Just gonna have to go into the Martian waters, I guess. Okay, up next we have Toothless Mechanical Ornithopter Dragon by Tinmar79. Wanna tame a dragon? Here's our chance. All right, let's see how this thing goes. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Wait, no eyes? Oh, there's the eyes. Okay, that's cool. Well, this is interesting. There's like a whole system of rods and bearings. I'm really curious how this thing's gonna work. A nice saddle on there, too. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, Toothless. Pleased to make acquaintance with your neck. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. We're going. We are going. Is this a real ornithopter? I mean, it feels like a, a real ornithopter in the sense that whenever it flaps, it feels like I'm pushing myself through the air. All right, here, let me... Yeah, this has to be a real ornithopter. Those are wings mod pieces, aren't they? Wait, what? Did the did it just, like, put its feet up for landing and everything? All right, what about turning? All right, looks like it does turn. Oh, look, this actually feels kind of epic. The view is not too bad as far as riding a dragon goes. This is kind of, like, what you would want or expect. All right, let's zoom back out. Whoops, I didn't mean to turn it off. Uh, no. All right, good, free camera. Pull up. Pull up. Okay, let's just come in for a landing now. Feet come out, and it lands very nicely. All right, good job, Toothless. I feel like I've successfully trained my dragon. Okay, up next is the Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier. Pretty sure I pronounced that wrong, or rather, pretty sure I pronounced that my way. Special thanks to Evil Sith for helping Wolfie with this design. Small planes and other amazing aesthetic parts. It's apparently the flagship of the French Navy. All right, can we bring up a uh, comparison picture? See how this thing looks to the real thing? It is the only nuclear-powered carrier completed outside of the U.S. Navy. Well, uh, I should probably go to the water, shouldn't I? Toothless, I need a ride. We gotta go to the water. This is not... This is not the best choice of transportation. All right, I don't have a whole lot of water on this map, but this water should be enough, right? All right, what are the... Are these cannons? There's a little cannon. Whoa! That's how the lights do things. There we go. Yeah, there's a whole uh, the light strip that goes down. Pew, 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 pew. All right, let's see here. Wait, what? The door is so small. What is this? An aircraft carrier made for ants? What? I don't... Is this... Uh, is this accurate? <laughs> Imagine that. I'm just imagining seeing this in real life. And there's like, how do we get into the uh, the captain's quarters? And then the whole the whole thing just opens up. All right. I mean, it looks nice. Everything looks really nice. That was just not what I was expecting at all. All right, let's open this up. Hop in the seat. And here we go. We are on our way. Look at this. Look at this. Is that... Are we like putting a gun in the ocean or we're salvaging it from the ocean? There's some funny details in this thing. All right, we got buttons though. All right, that's how you, I guess, open up to get out. All right, we got an alarm or a horn of some sorts. We got lights and we got a radio. And the rest is just driving. Driving aircraft. It's a very beautiful looking aircraft carrier. Aesthetically well built. <laughs> I love the way that opens. That is hilarious. Okay, up next by Kivion is a Ford GT V4. And this is an amazing looking car by Scrap Mechanic standards. Actually, just kind of, kind of by any standard, this thing just looks cool. You've used the Scrap Mechanic parts effectively to make a cool looking car. The lights, uh, the directionality of the lights is a little strange. I know that's the shape of the lights, but seeing the beam go up into the sky is definitely a little weird. And I've stranded myself on an island. Can this thing, uh, can, this, can this thing float? It actually felt Kind of like a pretty realistic sinking there for a car. All right, we're back on normal land. I actually kind of want to look at the interior of this thing too in first person. Man, this thing looks so cool. All right, what does first person feel like? Strict follow camera. All right, this looks pretty nice. All things considered. Windshield is a little reflective. Don't know if this tinting is legal or not. Actually, it's not even tinted. <laughs> it just reflects the sun so bad. Oh, you look at the side view mirrors. Wait, what are those side view mirrors made out of? What part is that? Is this vanilla? No way, I think this is actually vanilla. What part is the side view mirror though? Sorry, I have to find out here. Whoa! Wow! I didn't even- what is that part? Oh, here it is. Base extension. That is like the perfect side view mirror part. Really good find, really good find there. Of all the details in this build, the thing that attracts my attention is the awesomeness of the side view mirror. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, I gotta pay more attention to how this thing drives, because... 
I was saying it's a little bit slow, but oh wow, look at that. I'm glad I took a look back there. You actually have like a working piston engine in the back and yep, that's a whole like drive shaft system with using it's vanilla like system with gears and it actually has an okay speed. That is kind of awesome. Wow, good job on that. All right, up next by Red Skull is uh, oh, I can scroll through this. I didn't know I could scroll through a title that was too long until just now. The Vile Brequin Garage Hyperpneus 93 Benson V2. That's a lot of words. So apparently this is a really cool, like, uh, workshop garage thing. Where's the front? I, I always go the exact wrong direction when I'm trying to find the front of something. And if, if, if it hasn't spawned me right in the front. Yep, I was on the other side and I went all the way around. I just realized I don't have shadows on. Probably took a thumbnail somewhere. All right, let's see. Uh, what am I? What am I looking at? Is that? Oh, there goes the door. Whoa, whoa. There's a lot of details in here. This is like a whole big house. We got a vending machine. This is a really tall counter. Excuse me, sir. Can you see me? I would like to pick up my car, please. Also, one booster seat. Oh, look at this little F1 car. That's really well put together. All right, why when I'm in a seat in first person? Is my field of view clearly in my chest and not my eyeballs? What's this? Wait, how am I supposed to... How? We don't know how to use ladders in this world. Okay, we've got some lights. Wait, this is a film set? Hello, camera. What are we looking at? Man, look at the... Look at this pixel art. Wait, how did you do this? There's more than one color in these pixels. Okay, I'm not even... I'm not even gonna try to dig too deep into that. This tool chest is really cool. All right, what is this? Are these places... Can I go in here? All right, looks like we got just a bunch of workshop garage stuff. Why is it? Oh, is this like a tarp or something that you're supposed to be able to walk through? Right, I'm going to push buttons and see what happens. Clearly, we have some type of machinery here. Look me, I'm doing work. Yeah, I'm sure this is like a super accurate replica of like a real life machine. But um, I am I do not have the experience or qualifications to comment on that. There's a lot of tires. This is a very tiring room. Wait, what's with all these boxes? Oh. There's more tires. How many tires do you need? Honestly, how many tires do you need in one place? This is so many tires. Wait, what does this do? Oh, lights. Wait, what's over here? There's more. There's there's more tires. Look at all these tires. This is the most tires I think I've ever seen in one space. All right, this goes outside, I believe. Okay, this door is open. We got dumpsters back here and container. There's tires in the container. More tires. <laughs> It's just full of tires. You gotta skip your next uh, subscribe and save order. Clearly, you, you've just, you, you set it to too frequent. You're not using enough tires. Okay, out of curiosity, I just gotta see how many tires do you have in this thing. 1,177 tires. I feel like that's really expensive. Can we do, can we run a calculation real quick? Okay, up next by ICE is the P-51D Mustang. And this looks like it uses some Wings mod. Oh yeah, this is definitely a Wings mod. Um, oh, like how the uh, the cockpit window slides open like that. Oh no, 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 that's not what's supposed to happen. I right, slide the cockpit close. Why did I put my lift there? Oh, ooh, that's fancy. Look how fancy that is. What, it like completely closes up inside. No way, that's awesome. All right, uh, I gotta learn how to fly this thing, I just realized. Okay, yeah, these controls are not what I'm used to, that's for sure. Looks like we got yaw right there. Uh, this is gonna be my pitch, five and six. Okay, actually that's not too, okay. Oh, the arrows, the arrows will work. Oh, we've got guns on this. Oh, that is a lot of recoil. All right, here we go, I'm taking off. Uh, I knew my lift was gonna get in the way. All right, here we go, we're taking off. I'm trying. There it is. There it is. This is actually not too bad. Oh, landing gear. What was landing gear? Number two. Here we go. Landing gear is up. Oh, and I go much faster now. I think it actually had some takeoff flaps. All right. All right, and then zero. This is actually really well built. I wonder what uh, first person looks like. Not great. Not great on first person there. Okay, so I gotta I gotta get some control. I'm gonna come back for a landing right in the middle of this big open area. So yeah, watch my wings when I bring out the landing gear. I'm pretty sure that's I was going really slow because of the wings. They have like a landing mode. Yeah, yeah, you can see the landing flaps. Alright, and coming in. 
Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh boy, I, I got a little bit distracted. Turn off the thrust. There we go, like a feather. <laughs> Perfect landing. We may have shot air traffic control accidentally, but we didn't need them. Man, really, really nice build. You don't see a lot of good planes in Scrap Mechanic, mostly because it literally doesn't have any air physics, but uh, that's what mods are for, I guess. All right, up next by Trekker Gek is the Vretto VT5536 Tank Plus Arm. Oh, this thing looks great. It is massive. Look how big this is compared to my tiny little body. I'm assuming this is some type of farming vehicle of sorts get up here and go through the glass like a normal farmer and look at that i'm driving i'm driving a big driving a big vehicle okay so that looks like it's gonna be a thing it looks like there's gonna be a lot of th i'm just gonna push buttons and see what happens number one lights number two lights more lights number three uh left blinker and right blinker then more lights flashing this time. <laughs> I'm going through like the same exact sequence I've been through on other creations. All right. Oh boy. Here we, wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Is it like side strafe mode? And I assume I have a right version of that. I do have a right version of that. Okay. That's interesting. Oh yeah. There we go. Wait, no. Okay. That's not everything yet. That was number eight and number nine. Is this like a sprinkler thing? Or like a pesticide thing. Like it looks like those are nozzles. This is how you like spray your crops. So this thing goes pretty fast. Yeah, so then oh, what does zero do? Horn? Yeah, it's a horn. Oh, and I just noticed, look at the uh look at the driver area. It has its own suspension. You see that? Man, this thing is actually a lot of detail in this. That is so cool how this thing bobs up and down like alright, I gotta go over the train tracks to see what happens. But yeah, so when, when you're like spraying your crops or doing whatever this thing does, uh, you can also have like a, a sideways strafing mode, which is kind of interesting. All right, let's look at the driver's seat. Oh boy, I guess it can't handle that much. All right, man, this is such a detailed build. And you guys are really coming out with some of your best builds in these Your Best Builds videos, but uh, I've got one more to look at. And it's another Transformer. I think last time we looked at an absolutely mind-blowing Optimus Prime. Now we are looking at Barricade Transformer by David Baguetta. So, I mean, right off the bat, this is an amazing looking police car. Uh, let's get in and see how it drives. There we go. All right, the seating. The seating's a little weird in here. There's some cool looking stuff though. All right, look at this thing. Man, that, uh, that hood. Just, it looks so good. Man, this thing is awesome looking. All right, I cannot wait to see this thing transform. All right, we got buttons though. We got lights. We got siren and siren lights. I don't know what button's actually gonna be the transform. What does number three do? Number three is radio. Then we have a horn. Oh, number five is the transform. I don't know what number six and seven does. Probably after transforming. Are you ready for the transform? Here we go. There's the head. Oh, look at that head. How do you do this? He's got hands and everything. All right, and of course he drives. All right, now what does six and seven do? Oh, controls the arms. Multiple functionalities in each form. This is so cool. All right, get the lights on, the siren. <laughs> Freeze! Imagine getting chased down by a cop car, cop car on the highway for speeding, and he turns into this as he walks up to you. License and registration. <laughs> okay. Um, let's transform back now. Watch this thing in reverse. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh, I just realized that's like the whole head staring at me there. All right, let's transform in uh, first person. Yeah, see, look at the head. Oh, and those are the hands. Like, he's like uncovering his face from the inside. That's crazy. Whoa, I actually didn't see what first person was like in this mode. Okay, you can still kind of see. It's actually not that much different of a visibility. Man, this thing's crazy. All right, what happens if I transform while I'm walking? No way! I was not expecting to keep going. I thought something was gonna hang up, like cause too much friction. But no, that worked amazing. 
Can I go back into uh, robot mode without stopping? I definitely slow down this way. I actually sped up in the other way and going the other way. Oh, okay. When the uh, the hands come down onto the ground. Okay, it's much better at transitioning in motion from uh, robot to car than from car to robot. But man, this thing is crazy. All right, well, I would love to know which one of these creations was your favorite. Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, if you want to be part of future Your Best Builds, if you have some amazing creations that you think can compete with these, then you're going to want to join the Discord using the link down in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.